Well, here I am on the road again. Here I go up on stage. Here I go getting tased again. Freedom impeded by a tyrant. On a long and lonesome highway east of Omaha, I was just diagnosing this engine, and here comes a cop outlaw. He says he's not a sovereign, but we all know that he is one. Yeah. So here I go. Okay. Anyway, hi. San Joaquin Valley Transparency sent me, Matthew. Saw this on his channel, and then I came to your channel. I clicked subscribe, then I clicked the bell. Now I'm clicking the thumbs up. This channel is called Matthew Sones. S-O-N-E-S. Matthew S-O-N-E-S. Name of the video is MHP Traffic Stop. Go there and watch it if you don't want to hear me interrupting, singing, and talking. Okay, so this uh, mechanic, who I thought was Meatloaf for a second, he uh, he's diagnosing this truck, and he had to go full throttle to do a diagnosis, so I guess this cop pulls him over for speeding, but for some reason, the cop will not tell him why he's being pulled over. Until he hands over his plastic slave card. And you'll see what that turns into. Yes, sir. Driver's license proof insurance. What'd I do? Uh, I'll get driver's license and I'll explain it to you. I'm working on it. Now, what'd I do first? See, here's the problem with that. I need your driver's license and then I'll explain it to you. In most states, if you haven't done anything wrong, you do not have to identify. That's the Fourth Amendment. And it's several laws passed that uh, reinforce the Fourth Amendment. By the way, there's a channel called Audit the Audit who does kind of what I do, minus all the emotion, and they do a lot more research and objectual, objective factual research. Not that my stuff isn't factual. I've been uh, fact-checked two, three times now, and I've been wrong, and I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. That's the whole point of dialogue and doing all this. Who's right and who's wrong? So, again, in most states, you don't have to ID if you haven't done anything wrong. So, shouldn't the cop say what he suspects you of? So then you could say, okay, he suspects me, he suspects me of doing X, thus I must provide my ID. So... This is how the whole confrontation starts. This cop will not tell him why he stopped him. Uh, why you pull me over? Let me get your driver's license and no, I'll, I'll what I put, what What do you pull me over for? Tell me that first. Sorry, let me explain something to you. And what's your, I know, I know, I know the law. No, you have to tell me Tricky. why you pull me over. I don't, I don't have to tell you Bullshit. why. Bullshit. I, I have driver's I license. I have to identify you first. No, you don't. You have a tag number right, right there. Are you J Troop or K Troop? He's driving Who are you? Now, nah, what do you pull me over for first? Sir, you can be difficult. Or I you do a white enough. Now, who's being difficult? Here's the thing with the cops and the cops explaining and the cop logic. And you heard him say, I think you heard him say cops explaining there. And it, this kind of seems similar to my stop, except my window was rolled all the way up where they couldn't just reach inside and grab me. Um,. It looks like he has some type of flyer or something in the door in the window. Matthew, I would love to speak to you. Maybe do a live interview. Uh, please contact me through Facebook Messenger. So he's got the flyer. He's got the camera going. This cop can't answer after being asked four or five times why he's pulled the guy over. The guy wants to know why you're impeding his freedom. You're an armed man. You guys are not trustworthy anymore. Regardless if you want to act like you are, you're not trustworthy. And there is a real potential for uh, violence if we don't do exactly what you say, whether you're right or wrong. And you're not willing to have a dialogue with the public. I'm trying to be difficult. You I'm just telling difficult. you. I'm not. And you're also... 
Anyway, I'm just asking, why'd you pull me over first? I did one wide open throttle, I'm a diagnostic mechanic, and you also pulled my son over the same thing too, Caleb Miller. I thought this was meatloaf for a second. You saw me at Roses one time with an open carry weapon. I'm just asking. No, I would do anything for cars. I open the throttle, open on the highway. Then I get stopped, beaten, and tased, and kidnapped. I'm American Diagnostic Mechanic. Such a dangerous job with the road pirates. And I know Jamie Atkins and all the bunch, whatever. But why'd you pull me over? Why? Need to do that first. The notes. Instead of answering that simple question that he's been asked six times now, he keeps throwing up his gang sign. His little brackets. You have my you have my tag number. You can run it and get Just my number. His tag number doesn't mean it comes back to the driver's view. It does show the insurance though on the thumb. Listen. That's correct. No. Oh. It does show who the insurance is, so he got him on that one. That's correct, but look at my gang sign. Look at my costume. Look at my gun. Look at my electrocution slave whip. That uh, the the taser is the 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 new millennium's version of the slave whip. But Still, tell me why you have to tell me why you pull me over. You haven't identified yourself yet. I see a uniform. I see a big one. Okay. I just did the the tight lip. I'm gonna mess you up. Look. Why did you pull me over? I did a wide open throttle, real quick. I'm a diagnostic mechanic. I'm working on a truck, and I'm heading toward a guy's house to help me with it in Columbia. Let me explain something. I am listening. No, you don't have to explain. That's a cop explain. No. <laughs> Doesn't want to hear his cop explaining. No. I need to identify who I'm speaking with. I'll explain to you why. I am Robert. B. Henschling, my birthday is 62262 on this truck. And now, here's where I think legally and lawfully this cop is screwed because he just gave his full name and date of birth. So, as far as I'm concerned, he identified himself. If you don't have your plastic slave card with you, they can give you a fine, but you can still ID yourself with your name and date of birth, which he did right there. Thank God this guy's recording. I don't know that it's going to help him, but it should. I have registration and everything. You don't have to know that. Tell me why you pulled me over. I know who you are, okay. and I know you know Jamie Atkins. It's R37, okay? okay. I'm, not, I'm not naming names, but you have to tell me, you know, who you are. Identify, identify yourself. You, you, you do. I own this truck. You can run my tag number. Brand new tag, brand new license. Tell me why. There's my proof of insurance. It has my name on it right there. I don't have to hand this to, to you. He's already identified himself. Full name and date of birth. The cop ignored that because he's getting pissed off. All I have to do is just show you. I'm not trying to be difficult. You I'm asserting my right. No, I'm a nice guy. I'm a really nice yeah, guy. Am I not being nice? You are, but I don't have to, I don't have to do that. Am I not being nice to you by impeding your freedom on the side of the highway under threat of violence? Am I not being nice to you? The act of stopping a peaceful person who hasn't done anything to anybody under threat and duress, under threat of violence, is the first problem. Stop doing that. If you see someone being reckless, that's one thing. If you see someone going in a straight line... Not doing anything, not bothering anybody, not weaving, not being reckless. Reckless driving should be pretty much the only traffic law. Reckless driving, DUI, and a, a handful of things. And they have to have victims. None of this BS. Look, look what's going to happen to this guy. Because he is a diagnostic mechanic and he decided to hit the gas so he could diagnose a truck that he's working on. Uh, now, tell me why you put me over. Tell me to step out of the vehicle. No. So instead of just answering the guy, asking him why he pulled him over, telling him why he pulled him over, this cop is willing to resort to violence at this point. In fact, I'm going to lock the doors and run went up a little bit too. I just need to ask. I'm going to. You didn't roll it up enough, buddy. 
friend's house in Columbia right now. I did one wide open throttle on my truck. I just took a 1,200 mile round trip. Jamie knows that. He, I sent him all the information, whatever. You know, I did one wide open throttle. I was not reckless driving. I did one wide open throttle on the truck. I let off. I saw you way back there, sitting back there. I have you on video right there. That's fine. You'll be on video on my video. That's fine. That's really cool. I appreciate that. I really do. You want to step out of your car? No, I'm not stepping out. There's no reason to be difficult. There's no reason to be difficult. He's asked you eight to ten times now why you stopped him. Who the fuck is being difficult? Why can't you tell the guy why you're impeding his freedom under duress? You scumbag piece of shit. Why can't you tell a supposedly free American why you're impeding his freedom under threat and duress? Tell him why. Is that so hard? Who the fuck is being difficult here, you fucking pig? There's no, no reason. Either. There's no reason. Either. I'm gonna give you a couple options. No, no, no. Now I'm gonna give you options. This is this is ultimatum time, and he actually complies with the option, and it still doesn't help him. The cop just goes nuts. Don't forget the guy did ID himself, his full name and date of birth. He already gave it to him. Either get out of the vehicle or give no. him a license. I can give. Either get out of the vehicle or give me your license. So he's like, he's going to give him his license. My license, but I'm not stepping out of the vehicle. Give me a license. No. It's very dangerous for me to be out, stepping out, you know, in this situation. You don't know me. I don't know you. So there, he's handing him his license. Now the cop, is, his vagina's hurting so much that he, he doesn't take the license and go ahead and do his little waitress duties for the DMV and extort money out of this free American because... He tried to diagnose and do his job, try to diagnose a car. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. Listen. There's a license. He's handing it to him. He's handing it to him. He's handing him his license. He said, get out of the car, hand me your license. He handed him the license. This cop is going on some type of steroid rage now. He doesn't like that his costume isn't being recognized. He doesn't like that. He has to answer a question why he's impeding somebody's freedom. And he's going to lose his fucking mind right now because he's a scumbag. And they don't care that they're on camera. Talk about a sickness. No, no. no. Get out there's the my license Get right there. The You're being disorderly? No. no. Off command. Get there's out of my there. license. Oh, so he grabs the license out of his hand and then he drops it on the ground. Get Get out off of the command. Vehicle. No. No. Get out of the vehicle. No. Get there's no the reason for this. This is why you don't roll your window down, people. And if you do, make sure it's only enough that not even the palm of their hand can get through. Quit reaching on the... Now he takes his legal flyer. I wonder what flyer that was. I wonder if that's the fair DUI flyer. And he throws it because he could care less about the law. I'm sure that thing has some law written on it. But cops don't care about the law. They care about their costume and their perceived authority that they can get away with, not their actual authority that's written in law. See, you leave a license My right gun's there. over there. There's when no the guy says my gun's over there, he means out of his reach. Reason for this. Here's my brand new So look, so the cop snatched the license out of the guy's hand. The cop throws it down on the floorboard. The guy picks it up off the floorboard, tries to hand it to him again, but no, 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 no. This cop is so butthurt. Watch what happens. Listen, Jamie just got me this license. Do not do that. No. Get out of car. Get out of truck. Get out of truck right now. There's no reason to be. You Get did this truck. to my son. Get out of truck. No. That... You're, under no reason. Disorder... You're under arrest for disorderly conduct. I didn't do anything. Disorderly conduct. Police, pussy hurt police's favorite excuse to lock somebody up. They don't care. They can, you can disorderly conduct anybody almost for anything, especially if you have a costume. So, of course, when his vagina started throbbing really hard, like the bitch that he is, no offense to ladies, but guys don't like being called a bitch with a throbbing vagina, especially with this guy's inverted vagina hat. Uh, this is how he's acting because he couldn't answer why 
he was impeding the guy's freedom until the guy would hand over his slave card. Failure to obey a lawful command. You, he identified himself verbally, and then he tried to hand you his ID twice. You're a liar. Your vagina's taken over. No, no, stop it. Get out of the truck. Now I signed with threat number with electrocution. Mind you, he's a left-handed. What a shocker. Stop it. Get out of the truck. Get out of the you truck. You can call Jamie Atkins right now. Get out of the truck. I have my license on. I didn't. Do, I have my seatbelt on. I didn't do anything wrong. Get out of the truck. <laughs> oh, you did something wrong, buddy. The guy with the costume. The stalker on the streets here, he said you did something wrong. Even though there's no victim, you didn't do literally do anything to anyone. You're not trespassing. You're you're driving your truck that you're working on on a public highway that you paid for. You're literally doing nothing wrong. But somehow in a free country, you can still get beaten, electrocuted, and kidnapped for doing nothing, literally nothing wrong. Nothing to no one. Right, donut operator? Defend this donut. Oh, that's right, you have. You're going to blame this guy for not wanting to be a victim of your religion. I got it. No. You call, you call R37 right now. Get out of the truck. No. Get out of the no. truck. No. no. Stop it. There's no reason for this bullshit, man. I tried to tell you that. <laughs> you like been drinking. No, I'm not going to. Now he says you smell like you've been drinking. Oh, look, he's trying to ask. Look. Oh my God, this is the biggest pig loser so far today. There's so many, one guy like me can't keep track of them. Truck. Yeah. No. Get out of the truck. I'm no. You understand? Get out of the vehicle. No. Take it if you want to. Take it. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Dude, this guy's got way bigger nuts than me because I would have got out of the vehicle. I'm not looking to get electrocuted or kidnapped. Matthew. You're something else, bro. I would love to do a live interview. Pays me. Pays me. That shit don't bother me. You understand? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. My hand's right there. Stop it! Get out, oh, I'm not Get out of the truck. truck. I don't know what happened there, but here we go. Resuming. No. Get out of the truck. I'm no. You understand? Get out of the vehicle. No. Taste me if you want to. Taste Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Taste me. Taste me. That shit don't bother me. You understand? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. My hand's right there. Stop it! Get out of the truck. Stop it! Get out of the truck. Call Jamie Atkins right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, guys. So sorry there. Just had a coughing fit. I think the video itself actually goes sideways. I don't know if it's my phone, but I think the video itself goes sideways, so... Just bear with it for a second. Let's see what happens. You understand? Get out of the vehicle. No. Taste me if you want to. Taste Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Taste me. Taste me. That shit don't bother me. You understand? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. My hand's right there. Stop it. Get out of the truck. Stop it. Get out of the truck. Call Jamie Atkins right now. Call your supervisor right now. Get out of the vehicle now. I haven't done it. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle now. I haven't done it. Get out of the truck. Stop it. Get out of the truck. Dude, did that guy handle that tasing well or what? Holy crap. Look at this cop. This cop's enraged because this guy dared to ask why he was impeding his freedom and not just licking his boots like 90% of sheep Americans do. Good for you, guy, even though, even though I wouldn't do what you're doing. All the power to you, dude. You identify. You tried to hand him your license more than once. He just lost his cool because cops are kooks. And by the way, I believe that the, the, the sleeves, when they have them like that on their arms, it's because they're tailored. They haven't actually have them tailored that way to look cool. Stop it. Look, stop it. Quit reaching. Quit reaching. I'm not quit reaching. reaching. Quit trying to put your over there. Stop it. Stop it! Three elbow strikes to the head. Isn't that great? Because 
he wasn't willing to answer why he was pulling the guy over. Stop this! De-escalate! Heisberg. You hear me? Heisberg, give me some assistance here. I need assistance on traffic stop. Stop it! Assistance on a traffic stop. I need assistance kidnapping this guy. My elbow strikes to the head didn't work. My multiple taser strikes to his torso didn't work. So I need more goons now. I haven't done anything wrong. Stop moving. I ain't done anything. If you're ever on a jury and you can convict this driver, you're scum of the earth too. And you're everything that's wrong with America. Matthew, I hope you win this case. I hope you get a juror that thinks like uh, liberty-minded people do. Hey, Greg, I need some assistance. I'm Highway 98, westbound. I haven't done anything. You got a subject and I want to exit the vehicle. <coughs> Dude, to me, that's no different than them coming in your house. I don't know how somehow your, your vehicle, your transportation is not the same as your home you, that yes your security when you're in the outside world you're in a secure enclosed vehicle that locks for a reason stop it get out of truck okay. now. you saw me get out of isn't that nice looks him straight in the face and then elbows him right in the jaw truck you saw me you saw me it road get out of this is disgusting are you kidding me right now? Truck. You saw me at Rose's Barbecue one time. I don't time. care. I'm not a violent person. Well, you're you violent. are being violent. Get out of the truck. No. No. Get out of the truck. No. By the way, pencil, look at this scumbag pig. Look at this. This is what this, this cop wants to do to Americans. You think he? this is the freedom that Americans... Should enjoy? That was a good screenshot right there. Why did I pause it? Oh, yeah. Pennsylvania versus Mims. That needs to go bye-bye. That needs to be overturned as fast as it was passed, if not sooner. That is disgusting that they could just order you out because their vagina's throbbing. Look at this pig's ugly face. Well, is this an American hero? Uh, can you honestly look at this? Look at this pig. This is an American hero. He he justifies his actions because of a plastic slave card. Get out of the truck. He's restricting his air there. Yeah, you're an American hero, officer. Get out of the truck. Hold on. Get out. Where is that? Get out. Let me go. Get out. Step on the I think this is just a bootlicker. I don't know who this guy is. I don't think he's a cop, though. Put your hand, boy. Come on, I'll kick your ass. Come on, I'll kick your ass. This guy's a uh, bootlicker. As soon as he sees a cop struggling with somebody, he automatically takes the cop's side without knowing anything. That is the brainwashed mentality of American citizens. This guy saw a guy with a costume and immediately thought that he was the one enforcing the law instead of breaking the law. Holy crap, this is disgusting. Put your hands behind your back. We have to shoot this man. So the cop tells a civilian or a citizen, whatever he is, I might have to shoot this motherfucker. And the guy still doesn't know why he's being stopped to begin with. I guess we don't have a right to know why we're being stopped. We don't have a right to face our accuser, even when there's no victim, no crime, because there is no accuser. This is all BS. This is a waitress for the D violent waitresses for the DMV. And that's why they act so violent, because you're on waitress duty right now, pig. All right, I got one. Come on, fat boy. Come on, fat boy. You fucking piece of shit. Is he 
got a gun? Does he got a gun? There, that should tell you a lot about your intelligence level. I got one. I got one. Let me go. I can't breathe. Well, you got to I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Let me out. So donut operator thinks that these actions are justified that the guy who's trying to do his job on the roads that he paid for is in the wrong because the other guy has a gun and a costume. I can't breathe. You're talking, you're breathing. I can't breathe. Let me out. I can't breathe. Please. All right, just Let me out. Let me out! Alright. Let me out! Alright, you know me alright. No, I'm not. There you go. Let me out! I can't breathe! Let me out! Let me out! Roll up! Stand up. I can't breathe! You're breathing, you're talking. Look at this little toy, toy gun dudes he has. Oh my god. Just... I mean, this is disgusting. Quit pushing on me. Stand up. I'm not resisting. Uh -huh. Stand up. Ugh. You never told me I was under arrest. Yeah, dude, I said you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Stand up. Disorderly conduct? Stand up. You were the one that... Disorderly conduct. Sitting in your own car, peacefully, asking questions. Disorderly conduct. He ID'd himself, tried to hand over his ID... Two different times. The cop took the ID out of his hand, threw it on the floorboard. The guy picked it up off the floorboard, hand, tried to hand it back to the cop. And then the cop decided to throw a bunch of elbows at his head, electrocute him, and now he's kidnapping him with the help of a uh, master bootlicker from the side of the road. This orderly. Son of a bitch. 21 has, bro. We got him in custody. Good? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Give me my funny hat that makes me look authoritative. Okay. I told you this is how it's gonna be. This is such a safe place to be doing what this cop's doing. But he don't care. He's willing to endanger the public, endanger the, the driver, endanger himself. Because his vagina's throbbing too hard. Go. I go what? I go with my hand This cop's a hero, man. Good job, man. Good thing you got this terrorist off the streets. The last thing we need is another diagnostic mechanic running around paying taxes and doing work. We need more pigs in costumes with funny hats. I don't know what I've been over for. Now that I got your license, you're pulled over for 84 and a 65. Now that I have your license, he tried to hand you the license twice, you lying, disgusting, scumbag, pussy, hurt pig. And now that I got your license, you're going 84 and a 65. Ugh. Uh, I suck donut cock. Hey, 
Thanks for the one, Legion. This is Nation, Highway 98, just west of the Black Creek Road. I did it right up in front of your cuss for killing me. Because they ain't big enough. Yeah, well, I'm just one about to go double on it. They ain't big enough. That's about quick. He's going to help you, man. Just I right. will not. I He's will not resist arresting. I will resist pain. We're going to help you. You hear me? He's going to help you. Just I'm sorry. Call Jamie Atkins right now. All right. Our supervisor, get out of here right now. Stay He's true. R-37. So, again, the excuse that cops give for doing this stuff is for safety of others. Because they're not putting hundreds of people in danger right now. The cop put people in danger here. He's the criminal in this situation. This guy was trying to figure out what's wrong with the truck. So he throttled it to diagnose it. And right away, the gunman has to come and can't answer the simplest of questions. Disgusting disgrace of a human being in a costume. That's exactly right. All he asked you was, why is he being pulled over? That's all he asked you ten times. Instead of answering him, you decided to electrocute, elbow him in the head, choke him, and kidnap him. Fucking cop sucking pig licker, cop gobbler, blue waffle lover. You're a fucking scum of the earth. Jesus Christ, you people die off already. And not tell me why I was being pulled over. He has to tell that to me. Well, he would have. Well, he would have. Well, he would have. Well, time for some boot licker bingo. If you would have just opened your legs, the rapist might not have killed you and just raped you. He did not refuse to identify. He gave his full name, date of birth, tried to hand you his license twice. You're a fucking liar, pussy hurt pig. But I digress. Yeah, we'll see. Bullshit. I know the law. Let me ask you this, sir. Are you a felon? Are you convicted? No, I'm felon? not a felon. You never been to prison? No, I've never been to prison. I got arrested for malicious mischief. Okay. Here's things going to be all right. Let's, just, just, let's stand over here, though. Where we right. Let's stand over here. Stand it. Come on, Quit pushing me. I'll go stand. on. Quit right. pushing Come on. me. Come on. Walk over here, please, sir. Walk over here in your teeth. Come on. Walk over here in your teeth. Yeah, where's my goddamn teeth? We'll get your teeth. My gut? No, you don't give a fuck. You don't give a goddamn fuck. Let's sit on the teeth. There you go, people. Go away, stupid screen. Anyway, all right. This video is weird. Anyway, sorry about all the hiccups and technical difficulties and whatever happened. But there you go. There's freedom in America. Diagnostic mechanic needs to throttle a truck to see to diagnose a problem. But hurt gunman decides to seize on that opportunity to extort some money out of the guy for the state that he uh, so he could do his waitress duties for the DMV. The guy simply asked, why are you stopping me? Which is 1000% reasonable. 
The cop refuses to answer because he's got donut operator syndrome. So there you go. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Obviously, fuckface YouTube won't let me monetize this. So if you would, please buy some beef jerky or pigtails or rings or I'm trying to get a new product up called Fast Hook. This guy invented it that I know at the pool hall. And it's pretty awesome. So hopefully I can get my hands on some of those and put them on the store too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, y'all. Dude, Facebook Messenger me, please. Matthew, Sonas, Facebook Messenger. Also, San Joaquin Valley, thanks for, for uh, sending me here. All right, bye.